Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I went fishing with my son this morning and we had an absolute blast. We got into some Jack Crevels that were schooling. Anyway, he outfished me again, like seven fish to one or eight fish to two or something like that. He was pulling them out of the water like one right after the other. We had a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. At the end of the video, I'm actually gonna do a taste test on the Jack Creval. My son says that they're really good. I've never had them in my 50 some years of, of fishing. So I'm gonna give that a try. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take a look at these clips and see how we did. So it's crazy what's happening this morning. There's tons of glass minnows in the water. If you can see these guys, they're just flashing around down there. There's just lots of glass minnows in the water. The ladyfish are feeding like crazy. The seagulls are going nuts. Fish on. Might be a jack. Hey, it's a fish, man. Come on with it. Grouper's good eating, man. I'm taking them, or I mean, jack's good eating. I'm taking them home. Whatever. Yep. Nice. Nice. Crap, yeah. Come on, either. Darn, got it now. These things stink. Oh, look at you. You got the stringer and everything going on. Man, he hit that thing hard, too. Look at you, man. Crushing the jacks today. Boy, you're just getting to be too good of a fisherman. You're like three to my one. <laughs> doesn't count. I didn't have them in my hand. Fish on. Good fight. Fight like a jack. They're really schooling in here today, just chasing those minnows, apparently. Nice, man, nice. That's a little bigger one there. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Woo! Good going. Cool, man. Another jack. You got the jack spot going on, man. Yeah, you can tell by the way they jerk. What do they call these dogs? Jack Russell Terriers or whatever? That's what these remind me of because they're just like nervous. They're just like, you get them up and they're just twitching all over the place. Bigger one yet, man. He looks, yeah, they're all about the same size. They are crushing that lure. Nice. Boy, you got some jacks to clean.
pretty good meat. It's actually, it's the meat from this jack is firm and it's kind of a, a pink, grayish pink color. Um, parts of it has a bloodline in it. That's probably gonna be stronger flavor, but you know, the meat looks really good and it doesn't smell like super fishy. So I'm kind of excited about trying this. Woo, looks like the olive oil's ready. Smoke in, a little too hot. So I mixed up some Cavenders, Lowry, season salt, a little olive oil, and I got some Old Bay going on in there, and that ought to be pretty tasty. So somebody please tell me why people don't eat Jack Creval. Mmm. My son was telling the truth. This is good fish. You know, when we cleaned these fish, I knew the meat was like, the meat was really firm. And uh, I mean, it is amazing. It's not real flaky fish, but it's nice and firm on the inside. And uh, man, this stuff is good. It's almost like between chicken and fish, the texture of it. And it doesn't have a really fishy flavor. It's mild. Um, I like it. I don't think I'll ever throw away a Jack Cabral ever again. So if you know why, for years, people have called these junk fish. Please, if you know why people don't eat Jack Kerbals, please let me know. I think uh, unless some people give some some reasons like I'm gonna die in a couple of weeks or something, I will <laughs> continue to keep uh, Jack Kerbal. I have just become a believer. These are good fish. Hey guys, that ends another fun day of fishing. Please like this video and subscribe, and remember, don't just sit there. Get off that couch and go fishing. See ya.